Hello friends, this is Saurabh here, back again at Progressive Coder. So the topic for today is that we are going to deploy a Node.js application on OpenShift. In the previous video, which I'll link above, uh, we deployed a dummy application provided as part of the OpenShift installation on the OpenShift cluster. But in this video, we are going to create a Node.js application from scratch, a very small application. And then we are going to deploy that application onto OpenShift. And the main thing that we are going to look at is a tiny little trick uh, that can put you off in, in some situations where the port mapping between OpenShift and your application is not correct. So we are going to fix that little error once we deploy our application. And that will be the main uh, takeaway from this particular uh, video. If you haven't liked or subscribe to this channel, I'll request you to please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and also press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Uh, so now let's start with looking at our example. Alright, so what we are going to do in this video is that we will be creating a Node.js application a small Node.js application and we are going to deploy that application on our project. Uh, this is a project we created in the uh, previous video in case you want to uh, check it out. Uh, the link should come up on the top right corner of the screen. Uh, but if you have already seen that, uh, we can just continue onwards. So I went ahead and took the liberty of creating this Node.js application. It is a very, very simple application. Uh, as you can see, what we are doing is uh, we are just importing the core HTTP module from Node.js and then we are creating a server object using HTTP create server. And uh, then we are just uh, responding uh, a kind of HTML uh, document. Uh, we are just putting a hello world message within h1 tag and just sending it back. Uh, and the idea is that whenever our uh, particular, you know, application is hit by a user, they will be getting this particular hello world message uh, returned back to them. And if we are going to call this from a browser, the HTML that we are returning will be rendered. Finally, we have a server listen statement where we are listening to port 8000. So just keep a note of this port number 8000 and uh, I'm going to show how this can create a little bit of an issue in OpenShift uh, when we first deploy it and how can we fix that. So this is the application which we have created and it has only one file index.js and then we have a package.json which is having some boilerplate uh, stuff. The important thing here is to have this start script. So start script says uh, that we will be running node index.js. So whenever OpenShift tries to deploy a node.js application, it will look into this package.json file of your source code and, uh, and try to find the start uh, command, which it has to, which will basically bring your application up. So this is very important uh, before you try and deploy an application. All right, so now that our source code is ready, uh, we need to put this source code on a, on a GitHub repository uh, because OpenShift, for deploying to OpenShift, you need to have a GitHub repo. Uh, so we can, so what I have done is I've already created a GitHub repository, OpenShift Node.js app. And if you see over here, uh, we have the index.js file with our uh, HTTP server code and uh, then we have the package.json. Both have been committed to this GitHub repo. And don't worry about the uh, link to this. I will put the link to this GitHub repository in the description for this video in case you want to use the same source code for your trials. So once our source code is committed, uh, we can uh, just copy uh, the re repository URL and then come over to the OpenShift web console 
and then we can go to browse catalog select node.js and then click on next in application name we can give openshift node.js app just something which can be recognized and then paste the github repo over here and then all we have to do is click on create so as you can see openshift node.js app has been created you can just close it and go to the overview and if you see here now the build has started we can go and check out the logs by clicking here so the build process is going on and an image was created and this image was also pushed successfully so if you go to the overview now we should be able to see that our application has been deployed we'll go to the pod and check the logs for the application and yes uh, so if you see here our npm start command has been executed uh, which internally was uh, just running the index.js file and now our application is listening to requests on port 8000 so basically this means that our application has started uh, taking requests and uh, like we discussed last time a root is created for our application and this is the dns root using which we can access our application uh, so i can just click on this and it's trying to access the application but here is a catch so our application is not available so what could be the reason for this so our application is clearly showing up on the pod level so the container is basically running our application but we are not able to access it uh, from the dns root uh, so for this i if you remember i just said note down the port number 8000 uh, so what happens by default is that whenever we create an application openshift tries to deploy it on port 8080 so a web application is typically deployed on 8080 if it is an http uh, application uh, and that is the mapping that openshift tries to access it on but on our container level the application is running on port 8000 but openshift is trying to uh, point this particular route and the internal service on port 8080 so what we have to do to fix this is change the mapping in the service so the service is nothing but a kubernetes service we will click on this link over here and if you see uh, at this point so the traffic is coming from this route to the service port 8080 and then the target port is also 8080 whereas in our application we are listening to port 8000 and not 8080 we can simply change this by going to actions and clicking on edit yaml and here this is basically the yaml configuration this is uh, the language in which openshift resources are defined uh, and this has been pretty much borrowed from you know kubernetes yaml files so here uh, the port mapping is specified over here where the external port is of course 8080 but then the target port is again also 8080 we can change it to 8000 and then click on save and if you go back to the overview page and we can again hit this dns root and yes this time our html code which we were returning is being rendered um, it was a h1 tag as we saw so it is being rendered uh, in that format in our browser uh, let's verify in our index.js we are saying hello world from openshift node.js app and the same thing is being shown over here hello world from openshift node.js app so in this way uh, our application is now up and running in openshift and the important thing to learn and take away from here is to be careful about these service mappings uh, and also the start command so both of the things we have taken care and that is why our application is running successfully so this is all what we'll cover in this video uh, we are going to look at more features of openshift in the coming videos if you liked this video uh, please do subscribe to the channel as well as uh, press the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you get notified by youtube instantly uh, till then have a nice day everyone Goodbye.